the senator from New Hampshire, of course, mentioned uh, Job Corps, and she got the next to the last, she was the next to the last state to finally have one Job Corps center. We were the last state to have one Job Corps center. They're, they're working together to get kids into this Job Corps, and it's making a huge difference. Uh, they're doing uh, energy industry training, and that's heavy equipment and mechanics and welding and other things that are that are tied to the economy of Wyoming, so their job placement is tremendous. So I, I'm hoping that you'll take a look at that. The dis disparity in women's pay, I'm interested in the disparity of anybody's pay. And know that there's a federal law that says that if you're doing the same job in the same company, that you're supposed to be getting the same pay. Now on the other hand, if I have a female engineer working for a coal company, making a lot of money, and the guy that runs the meal room makes a lot less money. He doesn't have a case. That's a different job. What we've got to do is get people moving up the ladder to where they're getting paid what they ought to be getting paid. In Wyoming, we have something called Climb Wyoming. And it's for single moms who want to get into a non-typical job. And uh, in, in Gillette, the two jobs that they're, my, my hometown, the jobs that they're trained for is um, a warehouse supervisor or a truck driver. And uh, they're, they're amazing people that, that pick up these skills and then make more money than some of the men in our community. But uh, I got to speak at one of their graduations, and it was, it was for the truck drivers. And uh, I, I was amazed at how much they can make even if they can, because of their family, they can only work around town. I think they started at $18 an hour just around town. If they were able to make day trips out and back and still comply with the needs of their family, it went to 25. And if they were willing to take long distance trips, it really went up.